Hello students, today we are going to do zero of a polynomial. This is the second video on the chapter polynomial CBSC grade 9. And my reference book will be R.S. Agarwal. So in this video we have to, uh, we will be learning how to find the zero of a polynomial. So what is called a zero of a polynomial? So let's take a polynomial px equals to x square minus 5x plus 6 x square minus 5x plus 6 so this is an polynomial and we have to find the zero of this polynomial so that means we have to find such values of x so that if I satisfy the equation uh, this polynomial or replace that x with that value we will be getting zero so that's called a zero of a polynomial so that means basically we need to solve this polynomial for the values of x so that this px will be zero so if i factorize it using the middle term method so we can write the factors will be x minus 3 and x minus 2 which will be equals to zero and x will be either 3 or 2 so these are the values of x so that this px will be equals to zero this polynomial will be equals to zero okay so this is how we are gonna solve it so let's see the first exercise okay welcome back so this is our first uh, exercise from R.S. Agarwal the sec uh, the question exercise 2b so the, in the first question they are asking me to find uh, px is given the polynomial is given you have to find p0 p3 and p of minus 2 so we'll write first px that given px is equals to 5 minus 4x plus 2x square okay 5 minus 4x plus 2 x square and we need to find the p of 0 p of 0 means in place of this x in place of this x we have to put 0 so then so we will write putting x equals to 0 we have p of 0 is equals to okay so as I'm going to put x equals to 0 in the given polynomial each and every x will be replaced with 0 so it will be 5 minus 4 times 0 plus 2 times 0 square so it will give you 5 minus 0 plus 0 the answer will be 5 okay so we just uh, substituted the x with 0 in the polynomial as well as the expansion of the polynomial okay so next they want you to find p3 so p3 means we have to we have to replace the polynomial i mean we have to replace the x of the polynomial with 3 so putting x equals to 3 we have so p of 3 equals to we have to replace each and every x with 3 so 5 minus 4 times 3 plus 2 times 3 square okay so that will give you 5 minus 12 plus 3 is a 9 to the 18 so that means this will give you 12 minus 18 is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 so the answer will be p of 3 is equals to 11 they also want you to find p of minus 2 so we will put p equals to minus 2 I mean x equals to minus 2 into the equation sorry x equals to minus 2 into the equation so p of minus 2 will become 5 minus 4 into minus 2 plus 2 into minus 2 whole square so that will give you 5 plus 8 plus 8 that will give you 16 plus 5 21 
So that's the answer for the first question P0, P3, P2 and so on. The second question says in the second question the Px is given uh, 4 plus 3y minus y square plus 5y cube and you need to find P0, P2, P minus 1. P0, P2, P minus 1. So we need to find P0, P2, P minus 1. So first of all, we're going to find P0. That means we have to replace or substitute the x with 0. Sorry, in this case the variable is y, so we have to substitute the y with 0, so it will become 4 plus 3 times 0 minus 0 square plus 5 into 0 cube. That means it will give you 4 as the answer. That's the first one. The second one will be, it's given p of 2. So, p of 2 will be, you have to replace the y's with 2. So 4 plus 3 times 2 minus 2 square 5 into 2 cube 4 6 4 2 to the 8 5 to the 40 so that gonna give you 46 in the third part they want you to find p of minus 1 so we'll just replace the y with minus 1 3 into minus 1 minus minus 1 square plus 5 into minus 1 cube so that's going to give you 4 minus 3 minus 1 minus 5 so basically it, it will be 4 minus 3 and plus 4 get cancelled so answer will be minus 5 so that's the answer for the second question. Now if I do the third one, for the third question, the Px is given uh, sorry, the, in the third question the f of t is given 4t square minus 3t plus 6 4t square minus 3t plus 6 and you need to find f of 0 f of 4 and f of minus 5 f of 4 and f of minus 5 so what will be f of 0 f of 0 will be we have to replace all the t's with 0 so that means you need to put t equals to 0 here. So 4 times 0 square minus 3 times 0 plus 6, the answer will become 6. Now f of 4, that means you have to put t equals to 4 now. 4 times 4 square, 3 times 4 plus 6. 4 times 4 square means 4 cube, which should be 64 minus 12 plus 6. So that means basically we have 64 minus 6 which will give you 58 and then we have t equals to minus 5 so f of minus 5 will be 4 times minus 5 square minus 3 times minus 5 plus 6 so basically it will be 4 times minus 5 square so 4 times 25 which will give you 100 plus 15 plus 6 so it will give you 121 so that will be the question number 3 okay let's get back to the question question number 4 okay so question number 4 will be they want you to find the zeros of some polynomials okay so they want you to find zeros of some polynomials so question number 4 the first one you need to find the px is given x plus 5 you need to find the zero of this polynomial so what we're going to do we'll take the polynomial equate with the 
0 and we are going to find the value of x which will be minus 5. So 0 of this polynomial of the polynomial will be minus 5. Okay. So the next one, the next one is given, the second one is given qx equals to x plus 4. qx equals to x plus 4. Again, the method is same. We will just equate the polynomial with 0. Solve for x and that's going to be 0 of the polynomial will be minus, sorry, minus 4. For the third one, the third one is given pt equals to 2t minus 3. pt equals to 2t minus 3. So again the method will be equa same. Equate the given polynomial with 0. Solve for the variable 3 by 2. Hence the answer 0 of the polynomial is 3 by 2. 0 of the polynomial is 3 by 2. The fourth question, the fourth one is given fx equals to 3x plus 1. fx equals to 3x plus 1. So, again the method is same. So, we'll just equate the polynomial with 0, solve for x and that will be the answer. 0 of the polynomial will be minus 1 by 3. Let's go, uh, go to the fifth question, which is given gx equals to 5 minus 4x. So, we'll equate it. The, we'll equate the polynomial with 0. That will give you x equals to 5 by 4. So, we'll write the answer 0 of the polynomial will be 5 by 4. 0 of the polynomial will be 5 by 4. Let's do the sixth one. The sixth question is given hx equals to 6x minus 1. So hx equals to 6x minus 1. Again the same way we will equate the polynomial with 0. So we'll do 6x minus 1 equals to 0. x will be 1 by 6. So we'll write 0 of the polynomial will be 1 by 6. 6, 7th one. The 7th one is given Px equals to Ax plus B. So given Px equals to Ax plus B. So we'll just equate with 0 ax plus b equals 0, x x to minus b by a. So, 0 of the polynomial will be minus b by a. The next one, the seventh one we did, the eighth one, it has ten, 9 questions. So, hold for just 2 questions more. The eighth one is given px equals 4x. Okay, so simply f uh, we will do 4x equals to 0. We will equate the polynomial with 0 and the x will be 0 itself. So, yeah, that's funny that 0 of the polynomial is itself 0, numerically 0. Okay, the ten ninth one, uh, that's quite similar. px equals to ax given and that's given a is not equals to 0 so here we will do the same thing we will just equate ax with 0 as a is not 0 x must be 0 so 0 of the polynomial is 0 itself okay so in the next video we will be solving the uh, rest of the part of the exercise that the uh, question number 5 where we have to verify some zeros of the polynomial uh, Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other question or any other doubt or any other exercise you want me to solve, 
uh, from any grade on any board so you just uh, write down that in the comment section i will be happy to provide you the video solution of the questions okay so thank you very much thank you for joining the video bye don't forget to subscribe okay